In today's review, I want to walk you through a couple key metrics like overall aesthetics, functionality, ease of setup and use, and last but not least, overall value when considering the price and all the features associated. Summer is officially upon us and you guys all know what that means. It's time to turn on the thermostats and every time we do that, our bills go skyrocketing for the electricity. So this week I wanted to show you guys a smart home thermostat made by a company called Ecobee. I currently have it installed into my house. I've had it for, I don't know, a couple months now and it integrates well with my smart home system. So I'm excited to show you guys about it. I wanted to do a review on it and see if maybe it can save you guys a little bit of money. But before I get into that, if you happen to be new to my channel, thanks for being here. Please hit that subscribe button. And if you find value in my video whatsoever, give it a thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate that. Let's go ahead and get into this review. Now, if you're new to the world of smart thermostats, the Ecobee Lite is a Wi-Fi smart thermostat, and it does give you remote HVAC access through your phone, meaning you can open a smartphone app and you can actually control the heating and cooling elements in your home while you are away. Now, a few of the standout features on the Ecobee 3 Lite is that it comes equipped with a built-in touchscreen control, and this allows you to simply touch and swipe up or down, and that's gonna adjust your temperature levels. You can also toggle through the different HVAC settings, like cooling, heating, setting it to auto, or even turning your thermostat off completely, uh, and you'll do this by simply tapping the icon at the top of that same touchscreen. Now, the Ecobee also has a convenient weather forecast tab, that's located near the bottom by the settings. I found myself using it quite frequently actually and I've really enjoyed it. Now this thermostat does have a built-in room occupancy sensor and this is going to help with things like adjusting comfort levels when it knows the room is occupied but also when you're out of that particular area of your home it can go ahead and turn into an economy mode and this is going to save you on your monthly electricity bills. Other than controlling the Ecobee at the thermostat itself, as I mentioned before, there is an Ecobee smart app and it has the exact same user interface that you'll notice on your thermostat, just mirrored onto your smartphone. I can appreciate the symmetry there. It makes it really easy for the users to remember how to use the system and it's not like they have to learn two different uh, interfaces. It's kind of like having a mobile thermostat in your pocket. That's really nice. Now, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I had a Nest thermostat for a number of years and I really enjoyed it, but I switched over to the Ecobee because the big plus is that it is compatible with a series of different smart home assistants, such as Alexa, Google Home, or Apple HomeKit, just to name some of the big players. Personally, I have the Josh AI home automation ecosystem in my house it's hot in here. And Ecobee just happens to be compatible with that as well. Now, this was the biggest reason, like I mentioned, that I switched over because I wanted to natively integrate my HVAC system throughout my voice commands and home automation. That way I can do everything on one simple to use app and Ecobee makes that happen. I can simply say, Hey Josh, it's hot in here. And my AC will instantly be lowered down with low latency to a cooler temperature or vice versa. I could turn off the fan, turn up the heat, you get the picture. But adding the voice commands through my Josh AI system has really been a game changer with the Ecobee. Now it's not all rainbows and butterflies. I do have a few drawbacks of the Ecobee that I thought would be important to mention. I have noticed that the Ecobee aesthetically does not look or feel as premium as some of its competitors. Obviously you guys know that the build quality is not up to par with the Nest thermostat for example. That had I believe a stainless steel touch dial and that felt really nice and I love that dial on there. This one just has the touch screen with the huge bezels around the top, bottom and sides. And then the touchscreen's actually not as responsive as I was hoping, so that's another knock off of that. Um, but yeah, the big bezels, I don't understand it. I wish the LED screen would just kind of fill up the entire space. It just feels really antiquated and old to me. Also, another positive slash negative, the Ecobee does seem to offer quite a bit of personalization in the heating and cooling settings. However, the software, the UI on it just feels really clunky and not very user friendly. 
Personally, I think that most consumers would enjoy a plug and play type situation. After you get that thermostat wired up, it just kind of works because it's a smart learning thermostat. I don't remember having to do too much with smart thermostats in the past, whereas this one I feel like I've really had to make special efforts to make sure that everything was dialed in because I've noticed this thing has a mind of its own and it's just making my house super hot or super cold, so I've really had to be in control most times. Now, just like any other thermostat, the Ecobee does have a built-in temperature sensor. However, in my house, it seemed to be leaving me with a lot of hot zones, particularly where I sleep in the master bedroom and then where I do a lot of video editing or gaming in my office. So with those hot zones, I was feeling really uncomfortable. It seemed like the main living space was pretty nice, but unfortunately with my house, I only have one AC unit. So to solve this, I actually went out, spent 79 bucks, and I purchased two additional temperature sensors. Now these are the smart Ecobee sensors and I was able to go ahead and place one in my office and then place one in my master bedroom. Now it's gonna do a few things because instead of the Ecobee only basing um, the temperature levels in my main living area where my thermostat is, it allowed me to also gauge and average out my master bedroom all the way to the other corner of my house in my office and kind of give an average temperature reading. And this is gonna give the Ecobee more information to let it know it needs to let the AC continue uh, to blow or else it's gonna be too uncomfortable in the house. The only issue is I had a very difficult time with the setup process of these smart sensors. I followed all the directions and theoretically it should be simple. However, I had to follow them at least a dozen times to get them to finally want to pair with my Ecobee app. I have no idea why it was so clunky and difficult to set up. However, just like the Ecobee, once I got it dialed in, they've worked great and I felt much more comfortable going into summer uh, in my house. So that is great that I was able to add those Ecobee smart sensors. I have noticed that Ecobee does a great job with asking and intuitively understanding that I would prefer to be comfortable rather than save money. However, with that being said, I feel that the Ecobee does a great job with its occupancy sensors and smart learning system to save me money. I've noticed my electricity bill has not been too high so far this year. And keep in mind, guys, the last couple days at my house have been 118 degrees outside. So I'm really putting this thing to the test. I've had it for several months and I'm happy to report that there is money savings going on. Um, now I know I didn't do a full setup video on this uh, just because there's a lot of other videos on YouTube right now how to set up thermostats. If you guys do need help with that, however, just leave it down in the comment section below. I'm more than happy uh, to try to help walk through a wiring diagram, but the Ecobee does come with a setup manual and the guide is pretty clear and concise, pretty simple to wire up if I do say so myself. Well, my overall thoughts and opinions on the Ecobee after running with it for a few months, it really has all the bells and whistles and any features that you could really want out of a smart home thermostat. It also pairs well and it natively integrates in with a lot of smart assistants like Alexa, Apple HomeKit, Google Home, the Josh AI. So that's a major plus. I just feel that it lacks aesthetics. Um, it's not as nice looking or premium feeling as let's say the Nest. Uh, thermostat. It also lacks the easy setup and user interface when you're, you know, in the, inside of the app. The touchscreen doesn't seem as responsive, you know, things like that. So I do have to knock it back a few points for that. And I mean, personally, if you, you ask me, minus the integration end of it, which is why I switched from Nest over to Ecobee, I still prefer the Nest thermostat, but it's not to say that the Ecobee is not a great product. And to be honest, it has all those features. Once you get it set up, once you get it dialed in, I know the end users are really going to appreciate it. It's just a little bit more clunky in my opinion, and it just doesn't look as pretty. But other than that, I think it is a wonderful product, and I know a lot of people are really gonna enjoy it. So with that being said, that is going to conclude today's video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, and until I see you on next week's video, we out.